Hey dudes, extremely quick video to help you out with some of the new Hell Let Loose update optimization settings. Right, so here we are. I'm in the new update 8 of Hell Let Loose and I've fiddled with some settings and I'm getting uh, slightly less than I was a bit earlier, but this is Hill 400, pretty badly optimized map. And I think the lowest I've gone there is 140. In 32. I was getting about 200 earlier, but I am recording at the moment. So, yeah. I mean, this is a big improvement since the update. However, I wasn't able to get this initially. Um, when I just updated the game... I was getting pretty much the same performance I was prior to the update, which is kind of in the 90 to maybe 140. Look at that. 235, 190. It's all pretty good. I mean, it's still jumping up and down a fair bit between 140 and 230 something, but overall, it's pretty good, I'd say. So, how do we get these frames per second? Right. Please uh, forgive my car crash of a desktop. Right, first thing we're going to have to do, I would recommend you do a clean install of your graphics card drivers. Okay, if you, you can go down to, I'll do this from the perspective of a GeForce um, NVIDIA user. You should be able to figure it out for uh, uh, AMD guys. Right. Okay, so GeForce Experience, recently there has been an update, so if you click on the drivers button up here, you should have an update thing here. If you are up to date, then you can either uninstall the driver completely from um, the Add Remove Programs panel, or you could use a program called DDU, which I'll send, put a link to down below, um, and that can do a clean removal of your drivers. And then you can download fresh drivers and reinstall them. But if you just have an update, you can do what I did. Is click on the update here. And then where you've got express installation and custom installation, you will click custom installation. And there'll be a little box, checkbox, say, um, do a clean install. And that's what you want to do. Okay. Now, bear in mind, a clean install will undo some settings. So things like if you're a video control panel, you might want to take a picture of some of your um, some of your key settings, like your resolution settings here. Make sure that's all right, and your three D settings. One thing that you probably will want to change back uh, to uh, how it previously was, if you haven't already got this, is make sure your power management mode is prefer maximum performance. Uh, I think it defaults to optimal power, which will you know turn your graphics card into a bit of a wet sock unless it really is told that it needs to work. Okay, uh, anything else here that might... Uh, G-Sync or reset G-Sync. I have G-Sync disabled because I feel I don't need it, um, but it probably will reset that. Okay, so once you've uninstalled these graphics card drivers, what I would suggest is you delete your shader cache. Right, where's my shader cache then? Go to Manage 3D Settings, scroll down, and you will have Shader Cache. That will say On. What you're going to do is you're going to switch that to Off, Apply Settings, then Reboot Your Machine. Machine reboots. Right, your Shader Cache, so you've rebooted your computer after turning your Shader Cache off in uh, NVIDIA Control Panel. You come back in, you go to C program data nvidia corporation nv cache now what you can do this is my fresh cache as you can see there's not that much in there um, but you can delete the contents of that i actually deleted mine just to the recycle bin rather than shift delete just in case it caused any problems but uh, you shouldn't need to do that. Just delete the contents of that folder. And then you can go back to your NVIDIA control panel, which I already have open, and then turn your shader cache back on, hit apply. Then that whole section is done. Right, 
The next thing you need to do, which might be a little labor bit laborious, especially if you have a slow internet connection, is to re-download Hell Let Loose. Now, to do a clean install of this, I went to my library, I managed and I uninstalled Hell Let Loose. Then I went to... Um, now, before you do this, go into your game, screenshot all your settings. You're going to want to do that. I did realize that I had forgotten to screenshot a couple of pages when I went back into the game and it annoyed me a little bit. So do that. Don't, don't, don't be me. Uh, just screenshot that stuff and it will save you a bit of a uh, ball ache. Okay, so we uninstall the program. What we're also going to do is go into C, do, 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 C, users, username, believe it's app data, local, and there should be a HLL folder saved. And this has got your convicts in it. Now, what I did is I created a backup of it here. Create a backup of it, save it somewhere else, and then delete the contents of that HLL folder. That will sort of remove anything that it's going to ignore when it reinstalls. Um, there is a hell let loose folder, as you can see, but pff, it's always been empty for me, so who knows what that is. Okay, so now you've uninstalled hell let loose. You've deleted this um, contents of these local files. It's time to reinstall Hell Let Loose. So you reinstall Hell Let Loose. It's about 20 gigs um, download. That might be a pain for some of you, but personally, I've got fast internet. Only took me a few minutes, really, and I've really seen some gains in the FPS I'm getting. So the next thing we do to optimize your game is we're going to go to Hell Let Loose, which I can't see right now. There it is. Okay. I'm also going to go to Properties. And I'm going to go set launch options. And you see here, dash DX12. This forces the game to run via DirectX 12. And that is going to gain you some performance. Now, I haven't tried this turned off um, since the update, but I'm going to stick with it. I haven't seen any problems. I will try and do a comparison on off at some point. Okay. So we go back into our options. First thing you're going to notice, actually, is you're going to get some bump saying welcome to thing as if you load it up for the first time ever because you've deleted your profile folder. Now, one thing that is an annoyance that I couldn't find a way of avoiding is if you go to your barracks, you're going to have to reset up all your skins and stuff. Oh, well, it happens, you know, so I just kind of went through all these, set them all up, stopped them looking for an, like a noob. OK, I went into my options, gameplay. Um, I've got my... Usually FO, uh, 105. This is how I have everything set here. Just give it a pause and uh, I'll peruse around. If it hasn't done this as default and it's just remembered this somehow from whatever file, you want to make sure these nameplates are turned up just so you don't shoot your friends. Although new update looks pretty good with regards to target ID compared to how it previously was. Okay. Controls. This is how I have my mouse sensitivity. I play on 400 DPI. Um, that's how we go. Nothing fancy there. Now this is where things get a little bit more interesting. With the DirectX 12, now I haven't tested whether the crash has been fixed, but previously running in DX12 mode, if I ever alt-tabbed or switched to my second monitor, um, I would experience a crash. Um, running with in DX12 mode if it was running in full screen. So I have the full screen mode set to windowed full screen. Solves all the problems. Um, 1440p, resolution scale. Okay, so I have texture quality high, shadow quality medium, clarity TAA. This is how I have it set. Motion blur off because um, you have it on, you hate yourself. Um, this is how I have it set and it seems to work pretty good for me. Okay. Key bindings. I don't think I've actually changed anything. Audio. I've audio quality low there. I haven't noticed that until right now, but there you go. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. I may change that back to uh, 
higher quality and see if it has any impact on anything, but I doubt it. And pretty much, I'll go to enlist. Let's just enlist on an empty server. Hellfall. Let's try Carantan this time. Let's be Anne German. Create a unit. Create an infantry unit. Put me or squad leader and everything. Two seconds to deploy. Once everything's drawn in. 160, 157, 156. What I've noticed with the shader cache is as it builds up, it actually improves. It gets better and better like once you've been around on the map a little bit. So it's the first time I've been on Carantan since deleting my shader cache. We've got quite a lot of foliage going on. 165, 160. It feels, yeah, you know, it, it's whole at least. Okay, you see, it jumped around initially and now it's pretty smooth. Dip to 139. Overall, I'd say that's pretty reasonable FPS, especially for Hell Let Loose, and it's definitely an improvement on what I was previously seeing. You know, see how up to 190 now, 193, settling in. Hundred and eighteen frames per second when you're emptying a uh, MP40. Hundred and eighteen. Just throw some grenades about. Look at that. Broken texture? Oh, okay, we've got some popping. Shaders are still populating, but... Maybe that's a foible of the update. Seems to have uh, fixed itself. And I'd say that's about it. That's what I've done. I've seen some pretty uh, good results. It might be too much of a faff for some people, but personally, I think for, you know, extra 30, 40 frames per second, and it... It overall just feels smoother. You know, I feel like the frame times are better somehow, despite the variance from, what, 120 to 200 odd. But, yeah, overall, pretty good. I hope that's helped someone anyway. Take it easy, and I'll see you in a Hell Let Loose video where we'll no doubt get turned into absolute human mist. Ta-ra.